from uh, after the business plan, and if I'm completely on my own, um, do, you mentioned having a team of people around you that know what they're doing also. How do you acquire that team having never been involved with anything like that and then with them move on to the investors um, if you have no idea where to start? Good question. First of all, you shouldn't be on your own. If you are on your own, you made a serious, serious mistake early. But secondly, you would be amazed at the number of people who have expertise that as you're crafting your idea, they will get engaged in it as well to where they feel passionate about it. And a lot of them will do work in exchange for an equity stake. For example, when we design restaurant concepts for a living, it's not all that unusual for me to forgive some of our fees in exchange for me keeping my intellectual property of the concept we designed for the client. Well, so now they're not paying the huge hourly rate. They're not paying as big a retainer. They're not paying as big a fee for the overall package because we're willing to do a certain amount of the work in exchange for us keeping a piece of the pie. Okay? Accountants will do that. Lawyers will do that. Architects will do that. Consultants will do that. The list goes on. Okay? That's one way of dealing with it. The other way of dealing with it is, in certain instances, you just have to point blank pay the person for their time. That's why you need pursuit capital to pay some of their fees. Now, for the most part, professional services providers understand that you have a limited bankroll. So the best way to do it is for us to give you as much service as we can early for as affordably as we can so that you can get on down the road where you need to get and then hopefully you'll turn into a long-term client. It's good for, for our business. So that's not unusual. But in some instances you just have to pay them and call it a day. I'll tell you the other thing. There's a ton of opportunity for free advice. First of all, our company gives it all the time. We get dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of phone calls into our office. And I rarely miss the opportunity to try to help the restaurant tour, either the wannabe restaurant tour or the person who's already in the business and in trouble. I rarely miss that opportunity. Because I like talking to them, and I feel responsible to try to help them. I don't have to make money off of everybody. I'm fine with that. Well, and a lot of people think that way. But I'll tell you, the broadline distributors, what a broadline distributor is, is that's who you, in the restaurant business, that's who we buy our food from. That's who we buy a lot of our products from for cleaning supplies, packaged goods, etc. Broadline distributors, the good ones, will help you on all kinds of stuff. They got kitchens, they'll help you. They got chefs, they'll help you. Because they want to sell you food. They want to be your distributor to bring you the food. A lot of the manufacturers will help you. Giant food manufacturers. They want to sell you their product. The beverage companies will help you. They want to sell you their product. So you can access the free services that are out there, the free advice out there. And then probably, I guess, one other piece would be search engine information. You can get information about the restaurant industry all day long, every day. There's all kinds of information out there. There's trade shows you can go to and collect information and meet people. There's magazines for trade magazines you can go to and collect information, meet people. Um, Every marketplace has its share of restaurants. Every metro, decent sized metro area has its share of restaurants. You'd be amazed how other restaurant tours will help you. You go downtown, you go to a restaurant, you start talking to the owners, you start talking to the managers, you'd be amazed how they will help you. This is a very tight knit industry. They'll help you. So if you're at a point where you have no one around you, somewhere you made a serious mistake because...